Okay guys, so today we have the Sony STR-DN1080 which is a 7.2 surround sound 4K receiver and we're going to get right into the unboxing Okay, so right out of the box we get to look at the remote. Alright, so hopefully you guys can read everything. Our HDMI out, power, volume, mute, all of your, I mean you guys can read all of these. Um, but we have our options for the front surround, so if you don't have the back two, or I think it only simulates the back two uh, speakers, you can have it simulate that using the front speakers. You have your Bluetooth uh, send or receive. Your music services such as Spotify and Chromecast and Pandora. And then for batteries, it requires two AAAs. Alright, so we got out of the box. <clears throat> Alright, now attached to the wrapper of the receiver, we have our AAA batteries, our AM, FM, antenna and our stereo microphone for calibration. Now on the bottom of the box we have our manual which is kind of sad that they put that in the very bottom but it's whatever. Alright. Attached to the receiver is a before you connect Simply saying, don't block the top. You should use the binding posts correctly. For anyone that doesn't know, the manual is saying that you need to run one continuous wire from the back of the receiver to the speaker that you're using. You should not combine two wires to make one run from the receiver to the speaker. All right, so hopefully you guys can see everything on this front. We have our speakers, Bluetooth pairing, Bluetooth, our tuner presets, whoever listens to the AM FM still. Our two channel multi selection, I would assume. Uh, movie music display mode. We have our select zone and select power. And then we have our dimmer for our front display. And pure direct, which is where you play a lossless um, stream of music. Then we have our input select which has um, little clicks and then our master volume which is just a continuous dial then we have our calibration microphone our USB in our headphone jack and our power which is just a click now we're at the back so we can see we have our Bluetooth and um, Wi-Fi antennas which swivel we have our LAN we have our power cable which I'm gonna assume is six foot okay and I'm moving it left to right we have our coax which looks like it's non addressable as it says SA and CD but the optical is assignable. We have our FM antenna input. We have our video for satellite, cable TV, and video one, which is the yellow analog, a monitor out. We have our different uh, analog audio ends for satellite TV, video one, SA, CD, as well as TV. And then we have our zone two out variable slash fixed left right subwoofer out two of them then going up top we have our video uh, HDMI in video 2 SA CD for audio Bluetooth DVD for audio satellite cable TV game video 1 and these all are supposed to be 4K HDCP 2.2 so you can connect whatever you want to them and then you have our HDMI zone out for one and then our ARC TV out 
and then we have our our <clears throat> then we have our IR remote in out and then we have our zone 2 output we have our 7.2 outputs or yeah our rear surround or height outs right here we have our surround left right center and front left right if you do not already have a system that uses banana plugs you can go on Amazon or Monoprice and pick up these Monoprice five pair of high quality gold plated speaker banana plugs closed screw type um, the only problem I've ran into with these uh, banana plugs is they don't seem to like to stay screwed in uh, and stay tight but I mean you shouldn't be really wiggling them a whole lot once you tighten them and plug them in but I know Amazon sells these banana plugs for a better deal uh, by their own brand of Amazon Basics <clears throat> alright so that was the unboxing of the Sony STR alright so that was the unboxing of the Sony STR DN 1080